And to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day, the Idol Jorg Museum offered free admission for people to visit their native art in North American exhibit and other art demonstrations. There was one of the first tours today guided by Monica Raphael, where attendees got the chance to get a closer look at artwork, clothing and jewelry. Our Anna Chalker got an inside look at the exhibit and shows us why this exhibit means so much to Raphael. After being an artist in residence in 2022 and the curator of Great Lakes Native Cultures and Community Engagement, Monica Raphael is no stranger to the Idle George Museum. Her artwork has been on display throughout the museum and during the Indigenous Peoples Day tours, she got the chance to give a first-hand look at not only her work, but ones of many Native tribes. It's an awesome place place for us as Indigenous artists, as Indigenous peoples, because they try super hard to allow us to tell our own story. This interactive tour gave people a chance to understand the cultures of Indigenous people, really letting them step into their history. And for families who walked through, this was a lesson not always in the history textbooks. What's really the most important is that they understand that there are different cultures, that people perceive the world differently, they hear the world differently, that what they are exposed to on TV is not the only thing that's out there. I think. Now this exhibit was not the only part of today's events. There were art demonstrations and other cultural performances over the weekend. And coming up at six, I'll show why this weekend's events meant so much not only to Raphael, but to her family. Yeah, the Idol Jorg is such a treasure for everybody in Central yeah, Indiana. If you haven't been there, you gotta check it and out. It was a great exhibit to see all throughout, just being able to see everyone put their artwork out there and she has her own artwork there, so it was beautiful exhibit to see. Mm -hmm. And we gotta take a quick second to welcome Anna Chalker to That's the right. Channel 13 welcome. team. Thank you. And you are new to uh, our viewers, but yes. not new to us here yes. at 13 News. Yep, I interned in 2022. It was a great experience. It definitely was something watching this station growing up. You know, you wanted to get here and I got here and I was like, OK, cool. So here <laughs> yeah. we are now. So it's definitely exciting. And then you also have ties to Ball State. Yes. Yep. I'm still at Ball State. I graduate in December. I am in charge of the student organization News Link Indiana there. So it's exciting to still be in school and learning about this, but also being here, being in the moment as well. Yeah. yeah. And she has really cute hair. <laughs> <laughs> I love her haircut. We're happy Always to have joking you. with Thank her you. about that. Anna, <laughs> welcome.